Is it working? Does everything work here? What's going on, everybody? Oh my gosh, what a week, what a day. Yes, I've been busy all day, and as you can tell, Citadel downgraded me once again. I am no longer in the original office. We are, oh man, look at this, hair is out of place. Everything's going crazy right now, but we are good. Yes, we are no longer in the, the home office right now. We are in the field office, and everything looks good, looks good right now. I think Wi-Fi is working at this point. If not, you got to let me know because well, I have no idea. I can't see anything. So if you know something's wrong, let me know something's wrong. We've got, oh my goodness, Darling is here. Darling, hopefully you're having a wonderful day. How are you, Darling? I love it when you're in the chat, man. Oh, ben Shrimp, Keith Capper, what's going on, Keith? Joe Roberts, Honey Bear, Lisa, Nufo, Shruti. We got Shruti here nice and early this time. Well, not early. It's kind of late in the day, but early in the live stream. Shruti, what's going on? Lisa, yes. Lisa, no. Unfortunately, Lisa, no chipmunks today. Unless I see something walking around. I don't think I'm going to see anything out that window right there. But if I do, we're going to try and become friends with it. We got Luca Rajiv, man. 74 synthetic shares. Good deal, Rajiv. Is that how you say it? Ra Rajiv, I think. 74 synthetic shares. Get to buy those synthetics, man, because guess what? Synthetics need to cover just the same as real shares do. <coughs> Nick F says, what's up, bros? Nick F, how you doing, man? Hopefully you had a good day as well, and you didn't work too hard today. Level 2 badge, baby. Oh, yes, Luca, grabbing that level 2. I have a green name. I don't know what you're waiting on. Join Luca, grab that level 2 badge. After level one, of course. We got Claude, Northern Mac. Northern Mac, that's what it is. Shadri, Light Yagami. Happy Friday to you as well, Light Yagami. Keith, after 11 p.m. here. <whistles> Keith must be 11 p.m. Dude, what is seven hours ahead? 11 p.m., seven hours ahead. You gotta be in, like, Ukraine area, man. Where are you? Keith, where are you at? 11 p.m. We gotta, I gotta know about this one. I'm okay, thanks, Clay. Darling, perfect. Thank you for letting me know that you're... I worry about you. I'm glad you're okay. Did you want to walk with the dog today? That's that's really the only reason any of us are here, is we want to know if the dog got walked today. Uh, move your bay east. Mr. Duty, working good, young man. Good deal. Thank you very much for letting me know, Mr. Duty. I appreciate that. Nick says, what's up, Lisa? Chipro is going to have a dip into his... Dude, Chipro has got a big... I can only imagine. Like, I try to think about Chipro's stash at times, and his whole house has to be lined with seats. Like, there's probably no dirt in there. It's... It's like a house back in the day. Everything, the walls and everything are built out of gold. The dude just has sunflower seed lined walls all over the place. His tunnel's probably sunflower seed lined. Adma. What's up, Adma? How you doing, man? Chaudhry, 9 p.m., Great Britain, yes, that is 9 p.m., but where is Bahrain? Oh, Keith, okay, very good. I was wondering, man, I'm like, where could this dude be that's seven hours ahead right now? Uh, Lucas says, that was crazy random drop out of nowhere. What are we talking, what are we talking, right in here? After hours, out of nowhere, going from 35 to 34, 40, not terrible, but yeah. Hey, bro, where you been? I'm starving. Nick F, man, no lunch today, dude. I, I skipped town, man. I skipped town. We're, we're going to have to wait on that lunch, dude. I'm walking right now. Good deal, darling. Let us know you're safe. That's all I care about. Thought you were bringing lunch thanks to Rocket. Yeah, Nick, I skipped town, man. I skipped town. The the moment I knew that I was going to have to cover lunch, I was like, oh, got to get out of here on this one. Rocket, what Rocket doesn't know won't hurt him. But apparently, you remembered. So, mm. Second highway construction on I-70 in Indiana. Car is in park on the highway. Carla, thank you for joining us in the... I don't know if it's rush hour traffic or if you've got some sort of construction going on. Oh, highway construction. Okay, gotcha. Thank you for joining us in, in such a terrible time. Hopefully, this afternoon session will cheer you up a little bit. And you're going to have a good ride home because nobody likes traffic, especially due to construction. Get a new couch. Cognitive. It's not my couch, but it isn't. I've never sat on this couch in my entire life. This is the first day in my life that I've ever sat on this couch. So technically, it's not mine, but it is definitely a new couch. The things you'll do to avoid lunch, man. I will just, I will leave the state. If lunch is on me, boom, I'm out. <laughs> Good luck. I'm like the, I'm like the naked shorts, dude. You ain't gonna catch me covering that lunch. No way. Rickley, what time? Did not say, oh, Rick Lee there. Squeeze, next Tuesday, 7,500 a share. Rick Lee, 
Let's see it, man. I want to see the squeeze next Tuesday. 70. If Rick Lee's right, Rick Lee, you get a free T-shirt if you're right, man. I'll send it to. Actually, Rick Lee, if you're right, I'll give all 77 viewers in here a free T-shirt. I've got enough to cover the the 77 shirts right now. So yes, Rick Lee, dude. Dude, if you want it, say the time right now. And if we squeeze the 7,500, everybody in the chat gets a free T-shirt. And and your mom can have a free T-shirt too. TMI's live feed YouTube channel got terminated in the middle of his live stream this morning. That's what I was watching. John Smith, uh, M. James did tell me about that. I don't know. Did he get back on? Did anybody see him on Twitter? Did he get back? I was, I was not at home all day. I had no internet all day, so I don't know what went on with who and what and and I barely got to look at AMC this afternoon so yeah what what ended up happening with his stream because I know he got cut down Clearbro is the orb of all orbs Matthew you were the orb to my bro man you were the orb to my bro he's back on Kelly G good deal thank you for letting us know free shirts let's go Pat that's what I'm saying if Rick Lee gets it all day <laughs> all right all day the squeeze is happening all day. What do you say, Tuesday? If the squeeze happens on Tuesday and we go to 7,500 to share, 90 of you, I'm not even going 77, I'll go all 90 of you, you can have a shirt and a shirt for your buddy. All right? Now, remember that. Write it down if you would like. So, yes, Rick Lee, thank you for predicting the squeeze, my man. And if you are right on everything, free shirts for all. Club, we help TMI get his channel back. Caesar, perfect, man. I don't know why I lost him in the first place. I was... I had no internet all day. But if every eight bought just one share a day, Robert, if that's the case, if every eight bought one share a day, it would take less, well, it would take a hundred. I don't know how many apes are technically out there, but actually, let me know how many apes are out there. If it's all 4.1 million, uh, I, there's not 4.1 million apes, man. I'm sorry. What, 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 Triskino, what's going on? 7,500 share would be, would, my life would be a movie. Luca. Let's, dude, if it goes to 7,500 a share on Tuesday, I'm going to go hang out with Luca, too. I, I will. And I'll just order the shirts because i gotta, I got to give you guys two. I don't have two on hand for everybody. So, yes, everybody gets a shirt. I'm going to hang out with Luca on Tuesday if it goes to 7,500. Hands down, no questions asked. Oil Tip says, yeah, but it's definitely received my shirts from back-to-back -back wins. Dude, you cheated Nightbot, man. You cheated it. Oil tip knows how to the cheat code for Nightbot, and that's why. Too many hedgy spy in here. Tom, possibly, but I don't see any hedge spies. But you got you, got, you know any that are in here? I'm a 5X, better put an order in Omar Tent Maker. Don, 5X is nothing, man. I've already sent Gordon a 6X, dude. A 6X. You just like a little guy. You just a little guy. A 5X, what is that? Okay, Gordon, you in the chat right now? Gordon's a 6X, man. He's a 5X. You think, dude, you think 5X can't happen? 5X can definitely happen. A big bro, though. Like, big bro. Normal size bro, looks small. On a 5, 6X, you gotta go big bro. What did Nufo said? Into a new, does Chipro get a shirt? Yes. I will even have a tiny little custom Chipmunk shirt made. And while that dude's sleeping, I'll slip my shirt on him. <laughs> I'll slip his shirt on him. And uh, he'll, he'll wake up like, what the heck just happened? 2x Keith, 2x's can definitely happen, man. Write your sizes down right now because if we go to 7,500 on Tuesday, everybody's getting a shirt. Clay, you got the neck, you got the U neck on again. Natalie, I knew somebody was gonna say that, man. This is like my, this is my travel shirt, right? This shirt is comfortable, and uh, I knew somebody's gonna rip on it. I thought about getting, I don't have any paper clips or anything here, but I thought about putting like a paper clip right here, so it's a nice tight V. I knew, so <laughs> I knew somebody was gonna rip on me. I didn't know it would be you, Natalie. Didn't know it would be you, but thank you for bringing up the you neck. <laughs> He's working on behalf of the apes. Me? Antics? Oh, I missed this chat. Uh, whenever you have time to watch the Wall Street conspiracy documentary, it's about Wes Christian. He's now an exposed to naked shorty synthetics in the market. This man is a legend. <laughs> I don't know if he's a legend. I've watched some of the interviews and stuff with him. I don't know if the dude's a legend. And I don't know if he's working on behalf of the apes or if he's working on... He's a lawyer, dude. So I, I know... Um, very difficult to find a lawyer that's going to work on behalf of anybody other than themselves. But, hey man, if he can expose something, I'm for that, right? I'm for that. I just don't know who's, whose behalf he's working on there. Why do you have a secretary hook up the chipmunk and see... Hit chip cam and seeds. Nick F. I should have... But I don't know why I didn't. I got a ring. I could probably hook up the ring cam or, or leave a phone there on with a, a Google meeting or something and keep a live stream going up all day. And I probably should have, but I don't. I would have been able to get back in. That was 
That was bad on my end. Christopher Curdy, thank you for the super sticker, man. Thank you for... I can't turn my hand red. Maybe I can get some sunburn while I'm here, but... Thank you for the super sticker. Mr. Curdy. You, hey, you see this right here? You guys see that right there? Let me just show you. You see that right there? That happened at Nick F's house. Nick F don't even know about that. Happened at Nick F's house. Hand delivering his mod shirt. So, yes. Gosh. Dude needs to take a little hammer and chisel his brick wall out a little bit. I uh, wish I worked until 5. 7 to 7 Monday through... Oh my gosh. Oil tipped. You work 7 to 7 Monday through Saturday? What? Who returned 10 million shares? Jake, it wasn't me. I didn't return any shares yet. Dude. What'd you put in those shirts? Nick, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, and I'm trying to be a part of this bartending job on Sundays. Pulling extra moolah. Oh my goodness. Oil tipped. That's insane. Luca! Thank you very much for the super sticker, Luca. And this one's hard to do because, like, not smiling with your teeth showing, but... Hmm. Hmm. Thank you very... I know that one's like a bad one. Thank you very much, Luca. I appreciate that. And hey, I do not know. We may have some new subscribers in right now. Uh, Sherry, Brian, and Aiden all subscribe to the channel. I'm not exactly sure if you guys are watching right now. If you are... Don't be afraid. Type in the chat. It's all right. But if you are, thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate that. Click the like button if you want to, if you're having a good time. But shout out to you guys. I believe it was Sherry, Brian, and Aiden, and uh, Ian, dude. What do you make? Come on. Pull the phone out right now. I give you like a, a half shout out. You didn't subscribe to the channel. Ian, if you're watching right now, click the subscribe button, man. Uh, hating it says, Clay, bro, is going crazy. He might be punching the wall soon. Hating it. If somebody sends me a stu- That's a hard wall. I'm not gonna be punching that wall, dude. Confession time. Sold 500 of my 1,200 shares to date at 36.25. Justin, it's alright, dude. It's alright. You sold your shares. It's alright, man. You might miss out, but, uh... You can get back in if you if you want to. If you don't, dude, you're in a lesser position right now. You got less to worry about. That means you can hold tight to the remaining 700 shares that you got there, right? You know, uh, no, dude, the shirts did not cut me. Your brick wall cut. Nick, you need to like, you need to expand that walkway, dude. I'm sitting there <laughs> swinging my hands, walking, and just punch a brick wall. Uh, hey Clay, why do you think AMC is shooting like six percent positive early in the day, then dropping negative two for the rest of the day? Three the king. That's a good question, actually. And I know a lot of people were, were wondering about that today. Um, typically, the beginnings of the day, okay, are very intense times. 9.30 to 10 o'clock is a volatile time. And you guys can see it, too. If you look at the first minute of the chart on, not just on AMC, but just any stock, really, any popular stock. And clearly, if they're not trading the stock in general, it's not going to make a difference at the open. But... First minute of the day, man, volume is always high. First 30 minutes of the day, people are excited. They're out there. They're putting their trades in. And if you're more of a conservative investor, you're probably going to want to wait until, and I say Eastern times because I, I live in the Eastern time zone, but you're going to want to wait until 9, uh, really 10 o'clock to about 1030 before looking at the direction that the stock's going to take that day. If it can continue the movement that it had in the morning, perfect. If not, you may see a reversal just based on people getting in in the morning and then potentially getting out later because of the volatility that's associated with those times it does attract day traders and they get in they get out dude they work a half hour a day and then the rest of the day is theirs everyone ebony how are you ebony i like when you come in here i do you don't come in as often as you used to but i am very glad that you were in here right now ruby slip jones and oil tips slip jones in the house all right good deal man we got slip jones in here uh, hold, Joe says, hold, yes, guys, make sure to hold AMC, it's okay if you have to, listen, listen, I know somebody's gonna call you a paper hand, I mean, it's kind of true, you sold the shares, right, you, maybe you bought more than you could hold to begin with, it's alright, though, I wanna see, and, and here's the deal, when we see everybody willing to hold, and even if you're only willing to hold one share, alright, man, we can get, we can get the people on board that need to be on board, but if you can hold what you have, and if everybody can hold what they have, 
game over. We win. Christopher Curdy, man. Look at Hey, you guys know what the deal is right now. 138 Christopher Curdy's in the chat right now. Welcome, Christopher Curdy. Thank you very much for grabbing that green name. Becoming a bro. You're one of us now, dude. I don't, you can't leave now. You're one of us. So, thank you very much, Christopher Curdy. I appreciate that, man. And watch how many Christopher Curdy's you're going to have blow up in the chat right now. Welcoming you to the bros, my man. Thank you very much for doing that. Shake off the dip like me. Happy hour, Hodel. Get ready for next week, darling. Going to, uh, going to step on three grades, too. Listen, if you step on one great, it's bad. Step on two. If you step on three, that's bad again. So make sure. Welcome. Thank you. Three to king. Pretty sure that's the only welcome I see right now. All right, Natalie's in on it. Welcome. Welcome, Christopher. Yes, thank you guys very much for welcoming Mr. Curdy to the bro. Grab that green name. Now he's going to level up just like Luca did. Thank you very much, Christopher. I appreciate that, man. Please tell me one conspiracy theory about AMC that you believe could be legit. If you believe, I believe. Ooh, one conspiracy theory about AMC that I would potentially believe. Oh, man. I Listen, I don't know. That's, that's a tough question, Chasing Bangers. That's a good question, too. Because... I would say it's a conspiracy theory that CEO, Mr. Adam Aaron, is the silverback of the whole movement. I would say that's a conspiracy theory that I, I don't believe. I don't believe that there are billions of synthetics out there. Um, and I don't know if this is a conspiracy theory, okay? But I would believe, after watching that interview with Jim Cramer, I'm going to post that on my live stream right now. You know, we know that. You post an interview with Jim Cramer on your live stream, you lose your, you lose your monetization and your live for the day, and uh, that's bad news. So we're not going to do that. But after watching that, I would say yes, there are some hedge funds out there that would would try to either short the stock or or put some buy orders in and run it one way or another and watch the FOMO jump on and run it even higher. Or watch the retail investors jump off and run it even lower. So I do believe that they can go out there and they can knock the price through a certain level. And it, it's a significant level. Maybe not a, a huge swing, but it results in a huge swing because of the retail panic that sets in. Whether it's panic to buy or whether it's panic to sell, I believe they do that and they eat up the emotions all day. Guys, they're emotionless. We know this by now. They don't care about anything except the money they're making and they feed off of, I don't want to say new investors, but they feed off of retail investors' emotions. So that's what you have to conquer if you want to win. And when we do, guys, when we do, if we get past the point of, of caring what the price of AMC is, we're going to be unstoppable. We will. Clay, cool, brother. Keep that, man. You're cool, brother. What you talking about? You're cool. Thanks, Young Thad. I didn't even see Young Thad. Ebony! Oh, my gosh. Ebony, thank you for the super chat. Ebony, Ebony says, what's my birthday gift? Getting to what? Ebony, don't you dare tell me it's your birthday. Don't you dare. Ebony, tell me right now. Is it your birthday? You're about to get a birthday song if it's your birthday, Ebony. I'm telling you that. You better, it better not be your birthday right now. Uh, YOLO, fellow apes. Exactly. You only live one, live responsibly, okay? Don't go jump off a building or something crazy. Live responsibly. But yes, you only live once, and we are living our best lives right now. Hit that like button. M. James, what's going on, man? Thank you. Yes, it was yesterday. <laughs> Ebony, didn't see you yesterday. I would have sung to you yesterday. But guess what, guys? Everybody sing this with me right now. I know this song. So sing along. It doesn't matter where you're at, who's watching, because it doesn't matter who's watching me. There might be people outside the window right now. I don't know. I don't care. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ebony. Happy birthday to you. Ebony, thank you for being here pretty much since day one of the live streams. I appreciate it, Ebony. Happy birthday to you. I don't know how old you are. I'm not going to ask how old you are. But yes, hopefully you're having a great day. Have a great weekend as well, man. Go have some birthday fun. Yesterday, we went to birthday on a Saturday or on a, on a Thursday. Make your birthday Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and you're going to be doing good. Nick F says, M. James, put a bro sticker on, uh, on, put a bro sticker on my Lincoln Navigator clip. M. James, did you? M. James, 
Send me a picture on Twitter. No, tweet a picture and then I'll retweet it. If you did, if you did that, send a pic or just tweet a picture and tag me in it, and then I'll retweet it. And uh, Lauren, I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna get in better contact with you. I'm already in contact with you, right? I'm gonna get in better contact with you. I'm gonna figure it out. I uh, I sent an international package yesterday, and I will send one to you probably when I get back in town. I'm not gonna do anything while I'm gone. So, I'll get in touch with you, and we can make the UK happen, alright? So, get excited about that. We can make the UK happen. I'm excited about it, so you should be too. Hey, bro, who returned 10 million shares, and what imp or what will impact be, if any? Jim. So, I did not have a chance to look at all the numbers today. I'm going to assume by you saying that 10 million shares will return, we're talking about Ortex data, saying I don't know how many shares were borrowed today but also 10 million return shares if that's what we're talking about let me know and I'll try to expand on that a little bit but I just want to make sure I know what we're talking about dude I've been traveling all day I, I did not see I, I couldn't stay up in the loop until really I don't know about an hour ago so let me know if that's what we're talking about before I go ahead and expand on that Nick F you in the room right next to Clay Bros no Nick F is not in the room right now Oil tipped, I was gonna kick your butt. Didn't see what oil tipped. I got the bro sticker on. Now that's not a very public place, oil tipped. Come on now. Might be a good place, but not a very public place. Too excited, man. I can't. Frankie Newell, yes, you definitely can. You always can't. Don't get out of here with that can't nonsense, dude. We don't need any apes that say I can't. All of the apes need to say I can. All right, we're winners. We are not canters. Um, and what do we just? Yes, Jim. I don't know exactly who who returned it, right? And the borrowed and returned shares are are decent indicators because those are actually reported to by by several different institutions to um, Ortex, but also they don't receive everybody's information that's borrowing and, and so on and returning. But keep this in mind as well. Borrowing a share does not mean that you shorted the share or that you sold the share. You could borrow it for various reasons. And going back to Jason Banger's question really quick. Conspiracy theories that I think could be playing out right now or I might buy into. There's not really any good reasons on why you would borrow a share if you're not going to short it. Because you're not going out there and making any money on it just by borrowing it okay so what does that mean if you're borrowing that stock and you're not shorting it you could potentially want to short it right or you might just want to have those shares on hand in case you do want to short something in the future you've got them you don't have to look for them or locate them or whatever so why they would do that would might might be a question that I could potentially answer better than who was doing it because I, I don't know who was doing it but they could just try and and spook some of the retail investors a little bit to see that borrowed shares were going short because I know a lot of people in the community think that borrowed means short, right? So if you see a ton of borrowed shares being returned, there's a lot of people out there who would assume that shorts are being covered. So that might scare some people. And another reason they would do it is if they intended on shorting the stock, but maybe with the price declines or something, they just said, no, we'll wait a minute and then and short them later. But I can't think of a really good explanation on why somebody would want to do that. No, I'm James. He left Ohio to avoid bringing me lunch. That is the only reason I left, Nick F. That's actually true. What up, fam? Was hoping to finish green today, but let's go after hours, baby. After hours not looking terribly hot, but yes, let's go after hours. We're down another 2.7% after hours. But look, guys, the week is over. Is do it live in here? I want to know. Dude is built different, and he sold some covered calls, and he did not get exercised on. I want to know how he feels about his 50, 54, 56 dollar premium. Uh, when do institutions have to report selling large positions of in AMC immediately, Troy? Immediately, even if it's on the the dark pool, they have to report those trades immediately, and they hit the ticker. Clay, send a rent shirt, and I will consider. Putting a bro sticker on my F R Ooh. Interesting, M. James. Interesting proposition there. Send a wrench shirt. We can talk about that. We can talk. Do you drive or do you just keep your car in your in your garage? Now we need to know. Now we, you might be playing me, man. 
after he punched my house for some reason. Nick, dude, the brick wall was in my way, man. What was the close last Friday? Jay Bones, good question, man. What was the close last Friday? So if we go, well, here, this might be easier. Today, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. Close last Friday was 46 bucks. 46 bucks was the close on last Friday. 46 and change, but you get the picture. 46 bucks. Clay, where are you at? Ebony. Do you guys know what state I'm in? I, I don't even know. What states do you guys live in? I want to see if, if you guys tell me what state you live in. Maybe somebody lives where I'm at right now, and then we can go hang out tonight and have dinner. Maybe. 7 o'clock. Let's go. How is it, Marky Mark? Wahlberg bro of Wall Street. Brian, I'm the Marky Mark Wahlberg bro of Wall Street. If that's true, I like it. I'm thinking you are at Kauai. No. Marky? Incorrect. Congrats on the suggestion. I used to have a TC. Man, you guys like Scions, don't you? All right, cool. Pennsylvania, Connecticut, California, Hawaii, Cali, Tejas, California, Texas, Cali. Is that Minnesota? Philly, Indy. No, no, nobody. Nobody can have dinner with me tonight. No, nobody. That sucks, doesn't it? Sucks. No dinner tonight, guys. Come on. Texas. Nope, not in Texas, but glad you're in Texas, man. Shruti. What's going on, Shruti? How you doing? I don't know what you're laughing at there, but Slippa, you're the boss. Ooh, Slippa's... I, Slippa, I'm missing your messages, man. Shruti trying to be the third. I don't even know what we're talking about over here, but Shruti ain't nobody's third, man. Shruti's first. First, Shruti is the one and only. Shruti is first and only. Shruti ain't nobody's third. South Carolina, hands down. Nope, 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 nope. Maybe I just drift race it into the ground. That'd be good, M. James. I like it. Cancun, Mexico. Let's go, dude. I'm not in Cancun, but I say let's go. Oh, Joe, uh, Jose says Seattle. Nope. Tennessee. Nope. Man, there's only like Wisconsin. Nope. You guys are running out of states. There's only 50 states. What the heck are you doing, man? To sum it up, I got three beautiful girls. Slip of Jones, man. Uh, take some advice from Luca. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the best advice I've ever heard in this live stream. This is financial advice, and it is life advice as well, all right? Find yourself one bad mamacita and stick to her, dude. And stick th three mom, three bad mamacitas. Dude, what are you doing? You got to find yourself the baddest of the baddest of the baddest mamacitas and stick to her. Luca, shout out to you, man. Best life advice I've ever received in an internet chat room. I can tell you that, and I'll, I'll say it again. I'm in South Carolina. Slip Jones. Very nice. Oregon. No, no, no. New York this weekend. No. Virginia. Il uh, mm, mm, no. Illinois. No. Man, you guys are all over except where I'm at. I feel so safe right now. You have no idea how safe I feel. Mississippi. You're Ohio. It is correct, but I'm not in Ohio right now. Wyoming. Nope, not in Ohio. Are you in the Northeast? Currently? Or live? Uh, Florida? No, no, no. Clay, uh, Clay is more like Marky Mark after he became Mark Wahlberg, but this is definitely Funky Bunch. I don't even know what Funky Bunch is, but it sounds like a lot of fun. Are going to be live during the squeeze? Calvin, it doesn't matter if I am shirtless on a beach. I will be live during the squeeze, man. I'm telling you that right now. You might only see me from, like, the neck up, but... Yes, we will be live during the squeeze. We will be making it happen. Kentucky, no, New Orleans. Clay had to travel hundreds of miles to get his beach fix. And nobody nobody knows where I'm at, dude. Nobody knows where I'm at. It's kind of crazy. Europe. Europe, come on. Florida, bro. Nope. Anchorage, Alaska. We'll give you craps. Nope, I'm not in Anchorage, Alaska either. Utah, uh-uh. Carolina stepped on, on two dates. What should I wish for? A bro shirt. I can make that happen. I, I can, darling. You wish for a bro shirt. I can make all of your wishes. Well, that one. I can make your wish come true. Ebony says Arizona. Absolutely not. Carolina does it best. The bros in Michigan. Nope. Clays at Nancy's. Shh, Nancy, quiet down. How did you? Shh. North Dakota. Not gonna happen. Uh, New Orleans. You didn't say no. Did, I am saying no to New Orleans, Kentucky, no Missouri, New Mexico. You guys don't even, like, just, 
Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho. I mean, like, you guys could just go down the line because I, 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 maybe I missed it and you've said it already, but I'm telling you, dude. No, find the average mamacita and make sure you say your side mamacita is fine. <laughs> Frankie, that is bad advice, dude. Don't find yourself no average mamacita and a bad side mamacita. What are you talking about? Georgia, you guys, you guys are bad on states. What up, bro, bro? What is up, SD? How are you doing? How's your day going? Where's Clay, bro? Guys, it's like, where's Waldo? Do I need to put a sticker on the wall right here? What's going on? Jose! Boom! Jose, we're having dinner tonight, man. You and I... North Carolina, let's have some dinner. Lake Tahoe, nope. Uh, Jose Zamora. Correct mundo, Jose Zamorundo. Go, Jose. Slip Jones, man. I know. It took you guys long enough to guess that, didn't it? Vermont, no. Hey, bro. How are you doing? Happy Friday. Big Ben. I love this sincere question. You guys come in here. How are you doing? Happy Friday. Big Ben, man. I am doing great. How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing good. No shirt for my birthday. Ebony, if you would have told me on your birthday, we could have made it happen. But you told me a day late. Like, come on now. You guys got to step up your birthday games. So I sing. I want to give you shirts, but man, I saw it. Nick F., what are you guessing? Where I'm at? Somebody said North Carolina before Jose. Then they can come too. They can come too. But seriously, why has Claybro moved into a Holiday Inn with a sketchy sofa? Diffy dog. I promise I didn't move in here, okay? But, uh, the Citadel's Wi-Fi was down, so I just came across the street and needed to use the Holiday Inn's Wi-Fi so that I could bring you guys the, the special Friday afternoon live stream that everybody so craves. Now we're guessing cities. Greenville. Oh, man. Upstate South Carolina. Miami. Delaware. Now, yeah, we're now we're guessing cities. No, I commented on your video yesterday. Oh, Ebony, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Yesterday was a very busy evening. I, I mowed the lawn. The lawnmower did get fixed. <clears throat> Shout out to Dad. Thank you very much for helping me with that. Uh, got the lawnmower fixed. Mowed the lawn. Packed. Did another video just in case today was going to be a mess. And, yeah, I was, yesterday was a busy day. That is a good question. Rob Bliss, what is a good question? I missed it. It's called Vacation Clay will be there in four hours. Let's go, oil tip. Let's make it happen. A bro was in Utah with his U-neck. New fault. Dude, you like the U-neck. It's a scoop neck, dude. The, the girls go with scoop necks, so why can't I? It's just, what do you mean it's a U-neck? It's a scoop neck, dude. This shit is that blowing up in the mobile. I'm on my way. Oil tip, hurry up, man. Oil tipped you on PS4. You guys are crazy, man. Clay, bro, I filed you in. I filled you in on New Egg Figs. Now I'm filling you in on Carve. Highest shorted stock and smallest float. Anything I make goes to AMC. Frankie. Good deal, man. You did fill us in on New Egg. I'm telling you that. So if you guys want to check out Carve, check out Carve too. Uh, cookie ba Cookie's in the chat now. Cookie. Everything's better when Cookie's here. Just tell me you're on your way to Texas. Cookie, I will be there soon. Please wait up. Please wait up. Scared of the ghost. Uh, yeah, I, I actually was not scared of the ghost, but I'm like, dude. And, and I had to rationalize, right? I had to rationalize that the air conditioning or something kicked on and the door just slammed shut out of nowhere. So, yeah, dude, we're just going to... I left the windows open at the house, so... They just might air that house out a little bit for for a week or so, so that I know it's safe to go back and and I will live to see another day because I'm trying to make 2021 the best year ever, and I ain't down for no door slamming in my house. The question about the couch, that is a good question, man. Why did I move into a Holiday Inn? If anybody can answer that, please help me. Spies hurting, dude. Everything was hurting today. Bigness, everything was hurting today. I wish it was a cookie. Slipper Jones, back up, man. Back up. You got three. It's number one. Darling! Throwing those pink apes out in the chat right now. I love that. That's probably my favorite custom emoji. I need some more ones. <laughs> Slipper Jones is crazy, man. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get some more custom emojis this weekend. I'm on it. 
Ebony, I gotta cancel on tonight. Cookie's here. Frankie is canceling on you tonight. Ebony, well, he's gonna take you out for your birthday tomorrow, though. Clay, why are you in grandma's couch? Can I speak with you offline in the next few days to ask options, questions, non-financial advice, of course? Yeah, dude, you can ask some questions. Uh, I think you, I think you sent me a DM on Twitter, but dude, I couldn't see anything today. I was traveling all day today and couldn't see anybody's stuff on there. And, uh, yeah, dude, I don't care. You guys can ask me questions. Guess what? This is, it's, these are entertainment. This is entertainment advice, not financial advice. Entertainment 101. You can learn while being entertained. Now, can't you? Yeah. But you're self-admittedly all adults out there who, who do what? Adults make their own decisions. So, financial advice. Dude. You're adults. You don't take advice from other adults. You make up your own mind. I'll take her off your hands, Frankie. Slip Jones and Frankie dueling it out, man. Slip Jones says, Ebony, I'm taking you out for dinner on your birthday tonight. Let's go. Are you back in rehab? Mr. Normus. Mr. Normus, didn't you have a green name? You had a different account? I thought you had a green name, Mr. Normus. I don't know. Something, something seems off about that. Plays like the cream between the cookies. Well, dude, that's the best part, Frankie. It's the best part, man. What's up, Clay? Big Ben, what's up, man? How you doing? How's your Friday going? AMC bouncing back right now. I do like that, though. Me and Clay make the perfect cookie and Oreo. Mm -mm -mm. Ebony. You're onto something. You're onto something delicious. Mr. Normus. Dude, you gotta call... <laughs> He was, I think he was in chat the other day when I went on Short the Vix's live stream. <laughs> I love, I love the people that hang out in here and then like you go watch Short the Vix or you watch TMI or something. And I jump on one of their live streams and like Mr. Normus, for example, was in Short the Vix's live stream. And somebody said something about Dixie and he didn't want to say his last name. I'm pretty sure it was Short the Vix said something about Dixie and I was like, oh, Mr. Normus? <laughs> he started laughing. Like, yeah, dude, it's Mr. Normus. You don't think I know who's in these streams by now? I know every single one of you guys. You don't think I remember these names? Big Ben, man. Thank you for the super chat, Big Ben. <laughs> Thank you very much for the... <laughs> super sticker, Big Ben. I appreciate that, man. You are awesome. Today's going to be a good day. I know it is. And Big Ben is having a <laughs> very good Friday. We ain't worried about nothing here. Lag? I could possibly be lagging, dude. I'm, I could po I'm using foreign Wi-Fi. Who the heck knows what's going on here? You want entertainment? I just watched the Ape Father in a bathtub wearing a Jason mask. He's losing it. Um, I can't compete with that. I cannot compete with that. Although, this place does have a jacuzzi tub, man. So maybe I could compete with that right now. Uh. I don't have a Jason mask though. You're just gonna have to look at my face in the bathtub. Anybody want to? Anybody want like that sort of entertainment? Or are you just like you're not into that? Clay bro looks like he got kidnapped, but somehow managed a deal and was allowed not to miss our Clay Hanks Clay Hanks stream. Cookie, I think I could talk my way out of that. Like if I got kidnapped, I think I could be like, well, listen, Mr. Kidnapper, I think it's gonna be beneficial for all of us if we do this. I promise to comply with your requests and all of that along the way, but I think that we should at least make this mutually beneficial for everyone, not just you and I, but everyone involved. Because you don't want to you don't want the people to think that I've been kidnapped. You don't want them to think that I'm I'm not showing up. So we can avert the suspicion just as long as we let the hang go on and then afterwards I'll get back into the cuffs, dude, and, and you can do whatever you want. It's alright. I think we can make it. I, th I think I could talk my way out of that cookie. You might be onto something. Perfect salesperson, dude. I could, I could kidnap a kidnapper. I, I should try it one day. You can try. Hands down. I can try, man. Big Ben and Mr. Normus in the same room. That's huge. It is huge, dude. You don't see that very often, do you? I only watch the second best hair because you're a Buckeye. Second best hair. Avery. Second best hair. Second best hair. That's implying that somebody has better hair. Avery, look at this, dude. This is like after 12 hours okay, of traveling all day, okay? There's like no blow dryer in town. Look at this. Second best hair. Hold by Clay, bro. Coming soon. Somebody look up uh, Alibaba for me and, and find something good. Yes, yeah, stream from the jacuzzi. Melissa says, we need it. Not gonna happen, but... 
go on over to my other page and uh, we might be able to make, no I'm, kid I'm just kidding kidding mom if you're watching I'm kidding kidding mom's probably streaming from it right now so she's like I'm not kidding all right do you you do you mom clay my first call was do it live man you didn't see me asking about you earlier but I was asking I wanted to know how you felt dude I don't think you could have gotten any closer any close was it uh, and I I forgot if it was a 54 or 56 dollar premium that you took in congratulations man you, you just like you you skimped on by on that one but you did good while you've been playing and all oh, cookie you just you gotta be playing man you gotta, you gotta stay actually it's not planned you just live in the moment and then whatever happens happens dark pool says ow, 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 jacuzzi time ow, 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 jacuzzi uh, maybe after dark, dark pool, after dark, and it's just like, uh, the ring light, we're gonna turn the ring light off, and it's just gonna be all, all shadows, you just hear the water swishing around, some bubbles, some bubbles from the jacuzzi, yeah, but, hey man, you guys want entertainment, the ape father, shout out to you man, I like the ape father, ape father's got a bathtub and Jason mask, I got a jacuzzi and shadows, happy birthday to you, Peek a bait, peek. Peace, babe. Peace, babe. Peace, babe. Sounds like a cyclone song, right? Move your body like a cyclone. What was that? Hey, babe, babe. Hey, babe, babe. Sounds like that song. Very good there. Arcrass, good afternoon, y'all. Good afternoon to you. Happy birthday. If it is your birthday. Peace, babe, babe. Happy birthday as well. Steve Danger is first, just like always. Steve Danger, man, glad you were first. I like it. I don't know what I would do if you weren't first. If you were somehow second or last, I would be very confused. My bad, Clay's mom. Let's keep it. PG today. Dude, we, PG-13. What, what a PG. Come on. 13. Nah, I know what 13-year-olds are into these days. Let's keep it PG, dude. Let's keep it PG. 13-year-olds scare me. Ah, uh, welcome, Cookie. Thanks, Lex. I didn't see what happened above there, but yes. Welcome, Cookie. Exactly. I'm always for that lie. Live in the moment. Cookie, that is like, that is life right there. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, Happy Cookie. Peace, baby. Peace, baby. Brandon. Hey, Clay. Hey, Brandon. How you doing, man? Is everyone else selling calls because it's going to be a while for a squeeze? Kim A. Good question. Nobody knows when the squeeze is going to happen, right? And typically, you would want to sell calls on a stock that is trending sideways or even down, right? Because you could potentially get that, and you get a very low likelihood. Or you could sell it on a stock that's steadily rising as well, but it has a lower likelihood of getting exercised and expiring in the money. So I'm not exactly sure why or if more people are selling covered calls at this point or selling calls at this point. But it's very dangerous because AMC has the potential to go to 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 thousand dollars at any given time. So selling a covered call or selling a naked call or anything like that, other than buying a call, is a, a pretty risky position. Excited that the first in the stream just started and will go at least another three hours. Steve Danger, three hours. We are not gonna make three hours happen, but I'm always excited that you were first in the stream all the time. Those are two different songs. Are they? Are you are they? They might dude, it's been so long since I heard them. They might be. Steve O's calling me out on that one. They might be two different songs. Which one do you like better? Move your body like a cyclone or A Bay Bay? Steve, let me know, man. Which one do you like better? Uh, Luke from Reading here. Still holding. Luke. Clay from Ohio here. Also still holding. Perhaps to hedge against positions. Uh, Lex Luthor. Yeah, you could you could do that. But if you're if you're selling a cover call, it still is a little bit dangerous because you know that we could we could squeeze at any given time, right? Space Jam AMC Seattle, 2 30 p.m. there. Be there. Dude, I can't be there at 2.30. I, I really cannot be there in Seattle by 2.30. If anybody is in the Seattle area and you want to go watch Space Jam with Ricky, I would recommend being there by 2.30. He's very adamant about that, and uh, he's buying the popcorn. So if you didn't know, Ricky's buying the popcorn 
and not just one free thing of popcorn. He's buying your popcorn if you go watch Space Jam with him at 2.30 p.m. Pacific Time in Seattle, AMC. Uh, sure, Steve Danger. Man, missed it. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Bro thinking. Always, dude. I'm always thinking. Using the premium to buy more AMC, I'll only see far out of the money now. <laughs> you got scared a little bit, didn't you? Do it live. You, you're you built different, dude, but you still get scared like the rest of us, don't you? Yeah. You, I know you got a little scared on that one. Hey, that's a good deal, though, man. Use the premium. You can buy at least one other share of AMC. If you want to buy two shares of AMC, perfect, man. But, yeah, you cut. You cut. I don't think you could have cut it any closer. Cyclone is on my playlist. My wife hates it, and I get it, and it gets annoyed any time it comes on. I secretly hate it, too, but it's fun to see your reaction. Steve-O. Now I'm trying to now I'm trying to remember the full cyclone song. Is that is that the song that's like jump me up and down? You know what I'm saying? I think I think that's the right song. I think I'm on it, but it's been so long since I heard that. Did Chipro get to come on vacation? Brett! No. Chipro did not get to come on vacation. I don't think Chipro wanted to come on vacation. Dude's probably just going to be sitting... Like, he's probably going to find his way into my house while I'm gone and just go chill in my bed, like, the whole time. And then I'm going to come back, and it's, I'm going to see sunflower seeds just torn up all over the bed. And I'm going to be like, wow, somebody had a good time here. Uh, Clay, get out and enjoy the sun. Ohio is cloudy all week. Lex, dude, it's not... It's, like, it's 95 here. You guys that live out west in Arizona and in Texas, you guys are like 95, dude. You don't even need the air conditioning on if it's 95. Uh, it's 95 here and it's very hot. So let me know. Cookie, is 95 degrees hot? Uh, I don't want to play these songs. Cookie, play them because I'm thinking about them. You could be thinking about them. But you could be thinking about the same thing. It's kind of like when you're both staring up at the moon at night, you know, what we talked about. Uh, bro, I'm up 418 and a half shares when this darn thing is going to squeeze my... When is this darn thing going to squeeze my guy? AMC Future Millionaire. It's in your name, dude. It's in your name. In the future. However, Rick, I believe his name was Rick, said it's going to squeeze on Tuesday. It's going to be a, a full day squeeze and it's going to go to $7,500. And if that's the case, everybody in here gets a free shirt. So, Rick, man, I'm, I'm holding myself to it. If we go to $7,500 on Tuesday... Everybody in here gets a free shirt. Chipro couldn't pass through customs. Lex, dude. I think Chipro could pass through customs. He's a good guy. Where are you at? Steve Danger. Wouldn't you like to know? He says anything over 69 is hot. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. We'll just say yes. Uh, what up, Clay? Quick question. Can you explain a little bit about how money puts... How out of the money puts affect the price? Is it for the negative or the positive? Daniel, good question. I, uh, how to look at this? Okay, that, that's a good question. I like it. So we're gonna we're gonna spend thirty seconds on this one. I truly don't think there is a huge correlation between the price of uh, an option affecting the price of the stock. Now, some people are of the opinion that if you see some big buy orders come in, and you see, let's use the 145 call example, and it would work the same as a put, okay? If you see some heavy out of the money call options activity taking place, let's say you saw $10 million flow into $145 calls, there would be some people that are under the impression that, wow, people think that it's going to 145, so maybe we should buy the stock and push the stock up a little bit because we should pile in on it. Now, yes, that's a possibility that people are looking at options in that way and saying, well, a lot of people think that it's going to go here. Same with futures and stuff, right? A lot of people think that the price is going to go here so we should buy it now and therefore those people that buy it now push the price up a little bit and so on but clearly the actual stock price has a much greater effect on the options pricing than the options have on the stock price so that is how you could probably look at that that might make a little bit of sense when you're trying to decide how an option price affects the stock price don't do Ohio like that. Ebony, I would never do Ohio like what? I don't know if I did Ohio like anything. Ohio's it? No! Chuck, now I see what it now. I didn't think I did on Chuck, that's nonsense, man. Ohio is a beautiful, it's like, 
it's a beautiful woman. Ohio is a beautiful state, and you know it is. The best people live in Ohio, man. I'm telling you right now. Oil Tip says, I'm down. Did not see what Jennifer said, but it sounds crazy. <laughs> Somebody deleted Chuck's message. It's a nice lady, and Ohio is a nice state. Hey, bro, bullish or bearish next week? Dude, I, I was born bullish, okay? I was born bullish, and I am always bullish on AMC. A lot of other stuff I'm bearish on, but I'm always bullish on AMC. So I want, and bullish doesn't necessarily mean that the stock will go up. You're bullish if you want and think the stock's going to go up. So I'm always bullish on AMC, dude. Somebody must have hurt Chuck's feelings. Yeah, I believe so. Chuck, dude, if somebody hurts your feelings, like if somebody from Ohio hurt your feelings before, I can be your friend. Danger can be your friend. Ebony can be your friend. Nick F can be your friend. There's a lot of good people from Ohio, man. And if you're looking for a friend, we can we can heal whatever wound was created there. So keep that in mind if you're worried about it, man. We made a mistake. We should have sold at 72 and bought even more shares when it goes low by holding at 72. We give our hedges more money. Why do we hold if they haven't covered? Uh, Meadow man, very good question. I like that because a lot of people have that exact mentality, right? In hindsight, dude, hindsight looks good. But let's talk about that for a second. Let's say everybody did sell it at 72, and we made great profits. Double the money we've got right now at 35, 36, okay? We did good. We doubled the money that we currently have in our portfolios, and we could buy it back in either now or a little bit lower after we start to bounce again. Now, with that mentality, what happens? That's not an apes mentality. That's a day trader or a swing trader's mentality. Yes, it can work out in the short term, and you can make some decent money, but if everybody sold those shares, a couple things would happen. We'd be much lower than $36 right now, much lower. The amount of shares that would have just flowed into the market would have been insane. We'd probably be back at $3 right now. And also, I, I would all but guarantee that this would be over if everybody sold at 72 I would, I would, I would all but guarantee it, man. The hedge funds... We would have been so low in price right now. The hedge funds would have been even more tempted to just willingly cover, and the, the short interest would be much lower than it currently is as well. It's not a good question at all. Think about it logic. No, it, it is a good question because a lot of people do think that way. They do, and they're like, well, I should have sold at 72, knowing that it was 72 and then came back down. A lot of people have that exact thought, and and it, it is not. That, that's the type of thought that you have to overcome if you want to experience this squeeze, it, it's great to make a, a quick profit. But if everybody thought that way, the squeeze does not stand a chance, dude. It does not stand a chance. And the price really would be so much lower right now if everybody thought that way. Thought it would, <laughs> yeah, well, I got you, oil tipped, man. I got you. There's no worrying about anything over here. Good question because a lot of people think that way, but it's not the way that you should think. If you're waiting for a short squeeze, I have that exact thought. Yep, Jennifer, that's what I'm saying, and that's why it's a good question. You know, I, I see that question a lot, and and it, it doesn't just happen with AMC, but the fact that it is happening with AMC, and and we're focused on a short squeeze for AMC, that's what makes it really different than any other stock at this point. I should have sold. I forgot there are a bunch of kind readers up in here. Yes. There's kind of readers up in here, man. Started pouring just as I got to, to the recycle place. Oh, dude, that's terrible. It's not raining down here. It's sunny and 95 degrees, man. I don't even know why I got a shirt on right now. But, hey, hot out. Air conditioning's on, so we're doing good. Thanks, Clay, bro. Absolutely, Mito, man. Absolutely. And it, like I said, man, it was a good question. Um, I, I like it. Uh Mind readers in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind readers. My, hey, dude. Mind readers typically are kind readers as well. Jimmy didn't short squeeze. It was gamma. I, I really don't know what the short interest is on. I should do a little bit more research on GameStop since a lot of us are in the like the same stuff. So I should have done that, but uh, I don't know. I, I should know more is what I'm saying. Darling, someone get Nick F an umbrella. Should have your dad come and load it for me. Uh, dad, if you're watching right now, run up the street and help Nick F. He's a bro, dude. He's a bro. Help him out. Bros help bros out. Bros don't let bros get wet in the rain. Unless you're having a good time. But this in this situation, bros don't let bros get wet in the rain. Go help Nick F out, Dad. I know you're watching right now. 
I've seen you in here before, so let's make it happen. What up, Clay, bro? I think I'm addicted to buying shares. I'm a recovering addict. Oh, well. Keep buying, man. If you can, if you can afford and you want those shares, you keep buying. What is this, dude? I don't want no ad on that. No, no, no. Wasn't Gamma? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. Darling, I need one. Dude, just hold your bro shirt over your head and you'll be good, Nick F. Day trade, the options, easy money. Could be easy money, I don't know, but day trading the options is a much better strategy than day trading the stock. I don't want to see the hedge, guys, I really don't want to see the hedge funds get any more shares at all. 75 is low enough for me, it just don't sell them back another single a single share. Low key beams, it, was, it most certainly was already to bunk to next. I don't even know if low was the name or what we're talking about there. Alexander James, can you shave AMC to Pluto on your back like Ape Father? Come on, man. Do it for the movement. Uh, no, I can 100% I can guarantee you I cannot shave AMC to Pluto on my back. Uh, possibly right here. I mean, we, we can make something happen with that. But back, definitely not. I could do like a like a tan line or something, but shave not gonna happen. I wonder what Roaring Kitty's position. I I have no idea. I haven't seen anything about him in a long time. How long has the average short position been established? What's the short's general average, Brandon? I'm just talking right now on what I've heard because I haven't looked that up, but I I've, I've seen that it's around the fifteen dollar mark. Okay, now knowing that. You gotta know that they do have shorts out at 70. They've got probably some shorts still out at two. They've got shorts all over the place. It's just where the average is. So, the average right now, they're still losing on the average position. There may be some hedge funds that are making money on shorts, some hedge funds that are losing, but on average, they are losing money on their short positions. Uh, Cookie says, tan lines, yes, shave, no. Oh. Hey, if Cookie says yes, guess what the answer is? The answer is yes. Uh, you got to make sure you follow my Twitter, Claybro883, for a potential, and I'm not even saying that it's going to happen, potential tan line picture. Not going to happen, but potential. Claybro883, good plug. You guys you guys liked that, didn't you? I was shocked. Yay. Don't be shocked. I must have missed it. I don't know. I, I must have missed something out. No, don't worry, because I got your back, and I'm holding for you. Paul, good deal, man. How confident are you in the squeeze still? John, extremely confident. I'm extremely confident just in, in life in general, but in the squeeze, even more so than just life in general. Middle man, they didn't take anything from us unless you sold. That's true. Uh, I just bought 100 at 33.90 with TD first after hours buy. Michael Mansoor, man, very good. How the how the first after hours buy feel? Did you like that, or did you rather buy during the day? Would you like to open up an AMC savings account today, Chuck? Yes. It's pretty much what we all got. Have, it's pretty much what we all have going on right now, isn't it? An AMC savings account, like our savings just goes into AMC, hoping to watch it explode. Clay, ever been to Top Golf? No, Ebony, but it does look fun. And T-Mobile Tuesdays, I'll just let you know, T-Mobile Tuesdays constantly has Top Golf discounts. So if you guys got T-Mobile, make sure to do T-Mobile Tuesdays. Uh, the drift from 77 was, was, I think it was 72, but, but think about how many apes had to keep it exactly. Do it live. If we all would have sold off, we would we would not be in the 30s right now. We would be at three or lower. I can I, I I would I would feel comfortable saying that. Did I hear right that you're from Ohio, Daniel? You heard correctly. I am from Ohio. Do you think retail investors and also apes will have a strong belief to achieve our goal long enough? Basically, longer the hedge funds can kick the can continuously down the road. Daniel, apes yes. Retail investors no. So an ape. You guys, we're special breeds, man. We're special breeds. And you can get ape status just as long as you're willing to buy the stock and not sell it back to the hedge funds and hold the stock no matter what. And even if that means that you can't be like, uh, you know, banging on your chest with a thousand shares or, or five thousand or, or even five shares, if you can only bang your chest with one and say, I don't even care if I lose this $30 right now, I don't even care. I'm just holding it. That's where the danger sticks in and, and comes in, and that's when you can see prices that people don't care about. 
right? If you if it's one share and you just throw, if we everybody bought a share and then threw their phone away and forgot their password, it's game over for the hedge fund. In that position, we would never be able to sell the stock, and we would never be able to take our profit. But that's what makes it crazy. And if everybody was ape status or, or whatever you want to call it at this point, if everybody had that mentality, then we would. It, it's a guaranteed win. Nice, Ebony. I have fun there. Oh man, Cookie goes to Top Golf. Ebony, I think you should have fun. It does look like a very fun place. And if you've got T-Mobile Tuesday, I don't know if you can do it when it's not on a Tuesday, but you should check that out. Get a discount if you're gonna go. There's probably if if T-Mobile Tuesday's got them every week. You could probably just look up a discount online. So make sure to get that. You probably save 50%. Clay, are you going to be sharing your exit strategy? Israel, yeah. So my exit strategy, like I don't have a mark. I don't have a number in place right now. So it's not like we hit $1,000 and then I, I take the profit at $1,000 or anything like that. So it's not a set number, but there's going to be plenty of things that I'm looking for along the way. And I'm going to have to make that decision. Now, it does make it a little bit more emotional at that point because I have to make the decision potentially on the fly during a very quick short squeeze if it's not with low volume and drawn out. So, but knowing that there's a lot of things that I'm going to be looking for, I'm going to know what I'm looking for, and I'm going to make the trade based on that if it's something that happens quick. Special breed, absolutely, Cookie, absolutely. Thanks, Cookie. Everyone raves about it, so I thought I would finally try it. You gotta let us know, Ebony, tomorrow. If we live stream tomorrow, you gotta let us know how it goes because that place does look fun. Good afternoon. You slept in late, LOL. Just want to let you know. Oh, yeah, you slept in late. No, I got up very early today, dude, 5 o'clock. Just want to let you know that it hasn't been a good day for AMC options, at least mine. Walked away with a little bit of money but lost a heck of a lot. Well, Joseph, man, it'll be all right. You know why? You'll live to trade another day, and you're going to make some good money. Worked in Toledo for three years. I've never seen smoke so casually before. Well, dude, I I, uh, I guess they're just used to it. I don't know. I, I, I can't second that. I've never seen it. Nick F. goes for the cycling center. Rain or shine, he is a good man. Shayna and Rocket. Yes, Nick F is a good man. Go to the re like, recycling plant in the rain and then tell my dad to go unload the car for him. <laughs> Clay, bro, you look pale. Get off the internet. Go sit in the sun and talk to your chipmunks, broski. <laughs> I'm not pale, dude. It's definitely the lighting. You want to see? Watch this. Actually, that might be better lighting in this, in this situation. Is it? I don't know. That's the ring light. I, I think that does look a little better, actually. Dude, we're going with that light. What the heck? It looks a little weird, though. Let me know if we got to change that. Do you foresee a trend reversal next week, or do you think it will be more of the same? GC3. I would love for 30 to, to hold up as support, and we bounce off. So if it happens, great. If not, no. Hermoso. Cookie! Gosh. Brett, uh, I... I Cookie, I'm sorry. You know your your compliment is flattering there, but Brett's just hits me in the feels, and I'm gonna have to take Brett's. Brett's makes me it just makes me feel that certain way. Brett, thank you very much for calling me radiant, man. I appreciate that. Clay, do you think the hedges are the ones putting in the call options way out of the money because the money is coming back into the market, money makers anyway? Yeah, Derek. The, the market makers are the ones that are putting the call options out there. So the way out of the money call options, dude, if you're buying them, you know you're buying lottery tickets. So it's very it's very risky to buy. If you're looking at like $145 calls or $100 calls or $80 calls, like highs that we haven't hit yet, those are unlikely to hit. You have, you have much more of a likelihood of not hitting than hitting. So they're risky and... Some people like high risk, high reward, man. So you're going to see people go out there and, and market makers are able to make money that way. Are we confident that retail still owns most of the float? Brandon. Yeah, dude, I'm confident that retail still owns most of the float. I don't think that these shares would have been traded and, and bought up by institutional investors, at least not to get us down below the majority of the of the float. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident that retail still owns the float. Clay, bro, have you ever seen the cartoon King of the Hill? For some reason, you remind me of Dale. Just need some glasses and a John Deere hat and a cigarette. Dude, antics. No, man. What are you... There's no way. 
There's no way. No way I remind you of Dale. Yes, I've seen the cartoon. <laughs> There's no way I remind you of anybody on that show. Clay's perfect skin. Mutt. I do not, man. I've got a perfect ring light here. That's all. Finally made it home. Oh my goodness, darling. Thank you. No idea, darling. When you let me know that you made it home, you're nice and safe, I, I just... That's even better than, than Brett's radiant comment. So thank you very much, darling, for letting me know that you are safe and I no longer have to worry about you. He's more of a Rusty Shackford. I don't even know who Rusty Shackford is, Brett. Hopefully that's a good character in a good show that does very good things. Because I have no idea. Hopefully it's good. Uh, let's let's just actually take a look at AMC real quick. See where it's at. Thirty four twenty. Yeah, we're pretty much gonna be sitting around this this thirty four range. Rest of Friday. And let's let's just get some quick lines on the chart right here. Nothing's gonna happen after hours, but I don't see us breaking out of that range. I don't see us breaking out of that range. Uh, let's see, click in, it looks like Dave, Ar Dave Arquette, am I right, am I right, I don't know, am I right, guys, let me know, NT's laughing, probably because I have no idea what's going on right now, it it's terrible, guys, when you, when you guys start to rule the chat, and I have no idea what's going on anymore, I just sit back and relax, so, price action leads me to believe we have the hedges co cooked, some of the water, some of the weaker hedges attempting to cover a few shares when the price is low, the more stubborn ones are going to fight it to the end. Yeah, dude, there's going to be some that definitely fight it to the end, just like some of us, they fight it to the end. So we're going to find out who wins. And I have a, I have a, I have a hunch that it's not going to be the hedge funds. What do you think of your AMC price action next week? Yitzy Eisenberg. I always want to see the price go up, so I am bullish, and I believe that the price will go up. So I am optimistic. Now, I could be completely wrong. Only time will tell. It's either going to go up or down. I know that. It's not going to stay flat all week. It will move at some point. Wow, now it's mixed. I don't even know, guys. I don't even know what's going on, but it sounds like a good time, and I wish I did know what was going on. Thank you for your answer, Clay. Holding from Hungary, Daniel, man. Holding from Ohio. Well, currently not holding from Ohio. Holding from North Carolina at the moment, but... Holding, when I live in Ohio, I'm holding from Ohio right now, I'm holding from North Carolina, but thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. I forget what the question was, but I'm glad I was able to answer it. What's up, bro? Can I get a ahoo, AMZ to Pluto, ahoo, AMZ, absolutely diamonds everywhere. Don't listen to them, Clay, bro. You don't look like Dale, maybe Boomhauer, but not Dale. I don't know about you guys anymore. I don't know. Hey, Clay, bro. Thanks for all you do, bro. You're the reason why I purchased AMC back in May. AM, ape for life. Bullish. Said D, man. Good deal. I like that. But hopefully, hopefully by what you mean by that is I, I, I brought AMC to your attention. I allowed you to feel confident. And you made the decision to buy AMC confidently through what you have gained and what you have learned on this channel top sale Gabe top sale what, what what are we talking about now I just want to know especially one words holding from Seattle holding from Ohio where are you in North Carolina man Michael currently in a very warm city 95 degrees you guys gonna come find me I know you are I know you're gonna come find me Sold my home gym yesterday to buy 8,000 more shares of AMC. Mutt, you had a very expensive home gym, dude. I like it. Steve Danger, you're a good dude. Steve Danger is a good dude. I would agree with that. Melissa says, has there been any updates on how many retail investors are currently holding AMC? I don't think there's been any updates. Uh, M. James, oil tipped. Anybody out there, you guys see any updates on that? I don't think we're going to have any updates on that. Uh, because the update would have come from the the shareholder account, 
at the vote. Diamonds everywhere, man. You know I'm hungry, diamonds everywhere. And we got... Mm. The hot dogs just don't cut it, dude. Mm. That is a good burger. Hopefully I get a nice juicy burger tonight because that's going to... I'm, now I'm hungry for burgers. Thank you very much, Diamonds Every for, for the burger, for the super sticker. I appreciate that. And, uh, yes, it's better than the hot dogs. I can confirm that the hamburger is better than the hot dogs. Let me turn this your opinion. We have issue with OGs and new Gs that come into the fight. OGs are flipping out at newbies, getting excited. Memes out exactly what the OG did to the, go through at one point. Uh, yeah, limit 22. Don't freak out on the newbies, man. Help the newbies. Help the newbies, guys. Gabe says, sorry, I was trying to guess where you were in North Carolina. Everyone in Ohio goes to Top Sail Island. No, I'm currently not there, Gabe. Currently not there. You guys can narrow it down. Now you can guess all the cities that I'm not in or will be in at some point during the next week. Uh, Gabe, I've never been to Top Sail. And Nick is also from Ohio. Love hot dogs, Ebony. But yeah, that hot dog only has mustard on it, so it's not as good of a hot dog. I'm holding till the end. It's a leap of faith, a trust, and believe in my fellow apes. Yes, dude, yes. Don't don't trust and believe into in us all the way back down to like two dollars a share or anything. But we're doing good things here. If you're ever in Raleigh area, let me help you find a new mansion when you get a when you get lemon pepper tendies. Broke here. Very nice, Michael. All right. If I'm looking for a mansion in the Raleigh area, or if any of you are looking for a mansion in the Raleigh area, post squeeze. Your boy Michael here can help you out. And uh, what's his name? Now, now, y'all. If you're looking for a mansion in Southern California, I think it's now, now, y'all can help you out with that one. What's up, Clay, bro? What's up, DSA Sports? I get it. We do not want dates over promise excitement, but it's part of the culture that brought them in and stayed for the movement. This staggered race is what everyone needs to be aware of. Limit 22. Yeah, man. And although I don't give out dates and, and have never given out dates or anything like that, it does draw a weaker crowd. If you're expecting things to be easy or expecting things to happen by the end of the month and they don't, you're likely to fall off. I would rather just find a bunch of people who are willing to buy no matter what. But yeah, I see what you're saying, man. The more people, the better. We, we just have to weed out the the ones who are going to cave first. What do you think about Lou versus Wall Street? Like him or think he's ridiculous? Mutt. Personally, I think he's ridiculous, but I think he's got a lot of a, a good following, right? He, he appeals to the people that like that style of content. I just... Dude, I think he's, he's just a little vulgar for my taste, the way he talks and stuff. So that's just why I wouldn't recommend somebody watch him or like him. But he clearly speaks to a lot of people, and they do like him. Y'all missing out. Top Sail Surf City is great. Well, Gabe, looks like we're going to have to find out what Top Sail and Surf City is all about, man. Are you Canadian? No, dude. I'm Ohioan. Why did you ignore my text? Problem with Muslim or different color name? Uh, Atik. No, problem with neither, man. Must not have seen it. Do you want me to ignore the next one? Or you want to ask your question again? You're more than welcome to copy and paste. <laughs> hey, dude, kid. You're coming in hot, man. How the heck am I supposed to tell what you are? By your name? I, I'm I, okay. <laughs> you guys are nuts. Uh, I've been to Outer Banks a couple of times. Nick, did you find any treasure? I need to find some treasure. I am clearly black, and he loves me. Ebony, who would have ever guessed, man? It looked, you just, you're green. That's all I know. Golly, boom. Uh, Izzy, the best thing you can look for in, in that area is Luca, and I'll always go back to Luca, okay, because it's, it's what has resonated with me since the beginning of time. Just gotta find yourself a Bad mamacita, man. And I like I like saying it, and it's, I think it's good advice. Uh, not yet. Good. Nick, when you do, I'm the first guy that you want to count in on that one. Don't even entertain that. Clay Rose kind of questions loaded or trouble, and they don't even know it. Yeah, dude, I mean, I can handle the trouble. I'll tell you that right now. You're not going to get me in trouble. But, but, uh... He laughed afterwards, so I think it's all good. Clay, my numbers, I believe, all right. 
I believe, all right. The retailers own over 500 million shares. Uh, I don't know about that, dude. That means there are a lot of FTDs and synthetics out there. Joseph. I'm not on board with that. I don't think that the retail investors own over 500 million shares. Clearly, if that's the case, that's going to be... It's going to blow the top off of a lot of things right here. And we could really see some, some action coming from that. But I don't think that that's going to be what we see. I don't think we're going to own over the... Over the shares outstanding. Yo, Clay, destroy the darkness. What's going on, man? Can't wait when I when we win. I'm buying three Asian wives and having a, uh, a good party. Giggity, giggity. Uh, DJ. Sounds like a good time, man. But you only need one bad mama seat to that. It's Luca's advice, dude. It's the best advice you can get from this entire channel. AMC and bad mama Sita. It's like the best of... You, just you win on both sides. AMC, bad mama Sita. What else could you want? I don't even know. Anybody out there? Anybody else out there got like a got something else that you would want? AMC, bad mom. It's like perfect. At least I think it's good. I don't know. After marker combat, what's up, Ape Nation? After marker combat, after marker combat. All right, yes. After after market, after hours, after mortal. Guys, the. The range is really tight right here. 3409, 3420, and I guarantee we just trend sideways through it for the rest of the evening. And why is it just so small? Can't even see it. Now you can. Who is your WWF wrestler going up? Dude, that would have been like 25 years ago. I don't even know. Who would have been in the WWF and the WWE and the NWO and all of that? Forget all who was in who was in where. <sighs> Just get some good questions. Uh, would have been Rock over Stone Cold, but I don't know if either one of those guys would like Tops. Tops of the Island got its name from all the pirates that hung out there. I need to go. Hiding behind the island of surprise merchant marines. You gotta watch for the tops of their sails. Gabe, I don't know if you just Googled that or if you actually knew that. That sounds very good. I would like it. I like Tristratish. DJ, yeah, also a good one. Macho Man, Randy Savage. All right, Limit 22. I like it. Very good. Alex Wright. Chuck says, Alex Wright. Me, you guys are on it. Thanks for telling me to go buy AMC Clay. You the man, bro. Slipper Jones. You can if you want to go buy AMC. Guess what you do? You go buy AMC Clay, bro. What's the difference between a Volkswagen Squeeze back in the late and AMC Squeeze? Uh, said one of the major differences is there were no apes involved with the Volkswagen Squeeze, so that's the major difference that you should really be aware of. There were no apes involved in the Volkswagen Squeeze. Good afternoon, Clay, bro, and the Chipmunk crew. Hope I'm not too late, Miss Harris. You are not too late. I don't know how long we're gonna be here. I don't know. Maybe maximum another. Half hour? I know I got on late, but I've already been driving for like eight or nine hours today. Ah, uh, kidding, my bad. Slipper Jones, you're all good, dude. You're all good. No, no worries about that. Volkswagen Squeeze were all held by Porsche and two other companies. Chuck, wouldn't it be nice if you and me and, and Hands Down Clothing Co. were the only ones that held AMC and we didn't have to worry about people selling off because we were the only ones that could squeeze that bad boy? Dino Stripey is out and want to get him on the stream. What? Dino Stripey is out. Want to get him on the stream. What is Dino? Now I forget. Dino Stripey. I know I should remember that, but dude, I'm very tired right now. Why do I not know? Now I don't even know. Oh, <laughs> now, okay, yes, now I remember, I was like, you've said that before, and why can't I remember what Dino Stripey is, okay, the key calls the chipmunk at your house, Dino Stripey, that is actually a very good name, yes, we should bring him on the stream one day, and I can call you in, and we can get Dino Stripey on the stream and see how he does, you gotta get that dude some sunflower seeds though, man, 
Make sure you can eat out of your hands, and then we'll definitely get them on the stream. Sinister says, hey, Clay, what's going on? Probably no synthetic shares Volkswagen back then. And I don't know how many synthetic shares we have on AMC. Keep that in mind. I'm not one of the guys that's going to tell you there's a billion synthetic shares out there. But keep that in mind, all right? If the market crashes after the squeeze, should we be concerned about getting our money out of our brokerages? No. I believe you can only get a certain amount per day. No, dude, don't be worried about getting your money out of your brokerage. Uh, what's the best way to fight this Delta hedging? America, listen, the best way to fight anything involving the short squeeze is to just buy the stock, forget about the stock, and, and hold the stock. Don't worry about the price action. Just buy it, hold it, and that's the key to the short squeeze. If everybody does it, we win. If everybody doesn't do it, we lose. Uh, I got a speaking on you. He said, dang, which one? It goes against the whole bad mama Sita thing, right? But I like it, Ms. Harris. Click that subs click that like and subscribe button. Do we have at least 169 likes in here? Because we got 169 viewers. We need 169 likes. Disappointed we didn't end green today, but oh well. Sinister, yeah, a lot of people are disappointed we didn't end green today. I would have loved the green day. But it's all right, man. It's all right. We've we seen everything was red today, basically. How do we know we haven't lost already? Uh, Edwin, because they haven't covered all their shares, man. We would have lost already if they would have covered their shares. If there are no short shares outstanding... We would have lost. 140 likes. Guys, 140 likes. Let's go to at least 200. I'm hungry. I've been driving. I'm tired. 200 likes. What are you doing? You guys can click that like button. I might even go in on another account and click it just to help you out. Could the squeeze be potentially so big that hedges and banks would go bankrupt covering? Would the government allow this to happen? Tony, yeah, the hedge funds can go bankrupt. The banks aren't going to go bankrupt. The hedge funds can go bankrupt, though. But the banks won't. Problem is people buying options. Ah, Kim, I don't know if that's necessarily a problem. It would be more of a problem if they would day trade options instead of day trading options. If they would day trade the stock instead of day trading options. So I would rather see them buy and sell the options than buy and sell the share. I would rather see them just buy and hold the stock and they can still go out and make some money in the options if they want to. But... I, I can't say that buying options is is necessarily bad. It doesn't contribute to the squeeze, but if you're going to be doing something intraday or intra-week with, with AMC, I would rather see that action take place in options. I had to buy options instead of shares, and all of them turned out worthless. Had a bud buy. Oh, okay, had a bud buy options instead of shares, and had all of them turn out worthless. Yeah, destroy. Here's the deal, man. You know, options are riskier because there is an expiration date on them. Clearly, they're leveraged. You can go out there and have a better position with your options and, and make some more money with the options. But they're risky because they, they carry that expiration date. And maybe your buddy was out there thinking that the, sh the squeeze was going to happen sooner than it currently is, which sounds like that was the case. But that's the risk we run, especially when there's a lot of people out there telling you that it's going to occur at the end of June, right? And we saw how many options were expiring at the end of June. There was a lot of people on that. Uh, would you tell us how much percent you are still in the plus? Jace, I don't know. my. If you're talking about my average, it's in the 13s. So if that's what you're talking about, I, I don't know. I, I didn't look at my portfolio at all today. So if you're talking about what percent I'm up on AMC, it's in the 13th. So you can do the math if you want. But I didn't look at the at my portfolio at all today. Speaking of bud, ah, never mind. Exactly, hands down. We are buds. You don't even have to say it to everybody. You and I are buds, man. Uh, I wish Robert Downey Jr. was an 8, but he's too busy being Iron Man. It's difficult when people got things going on and they're out there being Iron Man and saving the world and everything. But yes, Robert Downey Jr., if you are watching right now, you might be. I don't know. If you're watching, you could buy some AMC and just be one of us. You don't have to go out and buy a million dollars worth. Just be one of us, man. Go out and buy a share just to say you bought a share. We'll all follow you on Twitter. Wish we just hit $100 right now would give me hope. Sweet Connie, you can look at it that way, or you can look at the fact that we didn't all sell off during the recent sell off from 70 to 30. We didn't sell off. That should give you hope that there are some people out there willing to hold and willing to buy the stock. 100 would be nice, absolutely, but the fact that we do have a lot of people 
willing to buy and hold the stock. It, it gives me hope, I should say. We have the squeeze not to day trade. Exactly, Mike Clark. Exactly, man. Triple bottom. But I'm saying, like, the people that are day trading AMC, I would rather than see them do that with options. Don't lose hope. Never lose hope. We'll get there soon enough. Exactly, Ebony. Exactly. I do see a lot of people get discouraged, but it's, it's unnecessary discouragement. Don't play options. If you don't understand options, they can go sideways on you. Quick, new investors, stick to cash accounts and just shares. Good advice, Gabe. Clearly not financial advice, but it, I'm sure it would help somebody out there. I'm not selling. Nah, Connie, I know. You're in here all the time. I definitely know you're not selling, but I think you can find hope in, in some... It's not a dark place that we're in, but you can definitely find hope in any situation you're in. Kathy Wood says, the market's going to crash. Sergeant Baloney, man. Don't you just love it when people know the future and they know the market's going to crash? There was a lot of people who said we were never going to recover from the COVID crash, too. And, and guess what? It took like five months, and we were hitting all-time highs again. And guess where we are right now? Hitting all-time highs. The economy... The United States economy was closed, and the stock market was hitting all-time highs. So, yeah, maybe it's a little expensive right now, but I, I don't like these people that go out and say, we're just, we're crashing, we're going to crash. There's the kind of guy who sits in a folding chair in his backyard with his feet in a, with his feet in a kiddie pool with a, no, with, I was going to see what he was going to say there, with a cooler full of lemonade by my side while singing Toby Keith and Tracy, Tracy Atkins, Tracy Atkins songs. Uh, most of that's true, but it would probably be more like a glass with ice in it and either lemonade, apple juice, or iced tea. But all the other stuff, dude, that sounds great. All the other stuff sounds great. Feeding the kiddie pool, sitting in that lawn chair, listening to some music, and singing along. Yeah, I'm on board with that. Antics. I'm on board with like watch out for the picture on Twitter. It's gonna be coming soon. I haven't sold any from six dollars. Don't you just love a six dollar average? And been adding to my savings account is America's Money Company. Nice AMC America's Money Company. I love it. Instant six. Melissa! I want to retract that message. I want to see what you had to say. Where can I get a folding chat? Right, well, it's a very expensive phone. I believe the Samsung Folding phone is like seventeen hundred dollars. So you can get one if you want, dude. It does have a nice screen. I was checking some of those out the other day, but still expensive, man. Ben Shrimp, my fellow apes, ignore Reddit. Oh, thank, you. thank goodness. Oh, we finally somebody in with a voice of reason. I don't even need to read the rest of the chat today. We can just sign off right now. Ben Shrimp, honorary member, you are a bro. I just thank you for being in here. It's full of fun about Ape Fest. True apes will be at Ape Fest. All right, well, I didn't know that's where that was going. I don't know anything about Ape Fest, but Reddit doesn't like me, so ignore Reddit if they're talking down about me. Hands down, they have folding phones now. They do, and they're very expensive, like seventeen hundred bucks for a for a Samsung Fold or whatever it's called. <laughs> it sounds as app, bro. Yeah. Truth is, shorts have to cover. Also, truth, it's possible this can take a long time. No one knows. Anthony, exactly. Uh, An Anthony, sorry. Exactly. Going to start thinking of AMC as my savings account. Better than sitting in my bank, holding and buying more. Anthony, man, yes. This can take a long time. Please be on board with the fact that this can take a long time. Some traders sold and are waiting to buy more in lower prices. This is not part of the movement. Everton, correct. And that's what we were talking about a minute ago. Mito Man had a good point, right? He said we should have all sold at 72 and got back in lower. It wouldn't work like that. We, we wouldn't be – if everybody did sell at 72, we would have made some nice profits. But we would be probably at $3 a share right now or even lower. We might be at like a dollar a share right now if everybody sold. I'd have missed 12000 at 35 – was it 35000 I'm currently at 14000 There's going to be no end and there is no end – to going down to fear the fear increases I try to stay strong Jace it's difficult man it really is you're still up now here's the deal dude here's the deal and I know it, it gets emotional or it gets a little scarier as you're approaching your break-even point right and I can't tell you to I can tell you encourage you or whatever to hold the stock and, and give you both ways I can't tell you what to do with your money but 
you've got a decision to make. If you really are concerned about going in the going in the red on the amount you have invested, you may be too heavily invested into AMC. Okay? AMC is not a play where we're only going to see gains. AMC is a play where we have to outlast the short sellers. We have to outlast them. And by doing that, that means that it doesn't matter if it goes up. It doesn't matter if it goes down. It's not a, a just grab and smash. We watch the retail run it up and make some money and so on. We have to be willing to, to outlast them at whatever cost. And if that means that you only buy $500 worth of AMC or $100 worth of AMC or $1,000 worth of AMC, I don't know your situation, but if you are concerned about going red, you, you may want to reassess how much you have in AMC. Nick F, not for that price. Sheesh. Oh, man, I missed it. Thousand for the folding phones over here. It is crazy, darling. Yeah, they're like seventeen hundred bucks. Yeah, one darling. Yeah, not for that price. Mm -mm -mm. Can't make that wish come true. Brochure possibly, but I can't make that wish come true. Liquidating at thirty. What to do, please, Johnny? And that's listen. That's what I want. Every I just want you guys to be comfortable in your position. Whether AMC goes to a penny or whether AMC goes to a hundred thousand dollars a share, okay? I want you to be comfortable holding this stock. If you're not comfortable going in the red, then that's that's not what this whole thing is about. This whole thing is not about only making money. It's about putting yourself in a position where you buy the shares and you are not willing to sell those shares back. They're going to try and watch this thing go up and down and scare everybody out until they can cover. And we cannot have the mentality where we're willing to cover or where we're willing to sell our shares. Nick F, one of my clients has one though. Darling, what do you think about it? I've only seen one at the store. Do you think it's uh, you think it's like nice? You think it's worth getting or is it just too big while it's open? Because it's huge. Salut, Claybro. Samir! What's going on? How you doing? Claybro has a nice haircut. Is he? Cut this bad boy myself. You like it? Two on the side, and then just, I don't know, whatever you want to do on the top. The new FTD info is out. Keith, I have not seen it. I, I've been I've been traveling all day, so I have not seen it. But if you want to enlighten us on it and you know it, let us know. What's your Instagram? Izzy, it's Claybro883, like the Twitter, but I haven't posted on there. Like When I was doing shorts on YouTube, I posted some of the shorts on on Instagram too, but I should probably start to be slightly more active there and on Twitter because we're going to be doing some some giveaways, upcoming giveaways for sharing the content or sharing something in your your story on Instagram or, or retweeting some of the stuff out there on Twitter and, and doing some giveaways for some bro shirts. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, Clipper83, if you want to follow me on Twitter, Clipper883. Has anyone tried the short squeeze simulator? You enter the amount of shares you have and your cost average. It simulates how it would look when the squeeze happens. Melissa, I have not seen that. Has anybody else tried that out there? You can watch the price fluctuate. I played around with it and didn't sell until my portfolio said $3 million. Melissa, amazing. Oh, man, I like that. I agree. Hopefully, we can get the squeeze to 100 so we can sell and go to Ape Fest. Ah, uh, Hugh. I wouldn't be worried about 100, dude. I wouldn't be worried about 100. Claybro needs a TikTok. Also, Claybro, 883. Uh, and his shorts came from TikTok as well, so. <laughs> but I haven't posted on there in a long time either. I don't really post anywhere but YouTube, guys. The phone looked pretty amazing in real life, but my client said it was a little annoying. I would imagine. Uh, ignore the simulator. AMC will only squeeze to 100. Then we can go and sell. Oh, man. We got ourselves. Hey, we must be doing something right. We got ourselves in the bot. We got ourselves a bot in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. I like it. Donald, thank you very much for being here. You actually, you make me feel good because I feel like we're doing something right. When the bots come in. Oh, man, dude, it's been a while since we've had one. I was like, man, I'm losing my game. We don't have any bots out here. Good deal, Aubrey. Yes. I'm glad, man. Little tipped. Aha. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> oil tip tears. Oil tip tears a hundred dollars, and he's all. He's like he's back here. He's back here deleting that. He maybe he heard the word bot and he's just back in. I like it. Oh my gosh, dude's just he's vigilant. That's why they call him the vigilante man. Ah, uh, clothing that does not need to be clothing that does not need to be hidden. I don't know. Oh, I thought that I thought that was vigilante that was doing it. Didn't even give him a chance. Didn't even give me a chance to fight. Oil tips like, yeah, you still got it, Clay. I still got it, Ebony. I was worried. I was losing it. I was like, I haven't seen a bot in here in quite some time, and uh, I was like, dude, I was down on myself. I was thinking, Clay, bro, man, they used to call you the the Clay bot, the bot, bro. What's going on? You're losing your game. You're not bringing the bots anymore. But yes, thank you very much for coming back, bots. I appreciate that. Glad to have you in here. Yo, Clay, send a you send Nikki a shout out. Tell her to relax about AMC and stop thinking I'm going crazy. Jayville, absolutely. Nikki, if you're listening right now, look, Jayville is not going crazy. Everything's gonna be all right. It's time to relax, sit back, enjoy the weekend. The stock market is closed until Monday. So that means we can just hang out, have a good time, and enjoy each other's company. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing. And Jay definitely said he's going to take you out for some ice cream tonight. Get your mind off AMC so you got nothing to worry about. Nikki, have a good evening. Enjoy the ice cream. Tag me on Twitter with the ice cream. Jay gets you tonight. Claybro883, I need to see a picture. Jay, if you're slacking, dude, if you're, that was the shout-out. you got to go buy our ice cream now. All right? And I got to see his picture on Twitter tonight, and I'll retweet it. So you can get some followers, and Nikki can be happy with some ice cream. Which breaks the cycle of short, shorting daily, forcing the price down? When does it stop? What makes it? Guys, that, that's a lot of questions in one. When does it stop? What makes them have to pay back the shorts? Why can't they just do this forever? Tony, they can do this forever. What makes them pay back the shorts, whether they're willing or not, or they get margin called? When does it stop? Sometime in the future, or maybe never. Forcing the price down? Yeah, they would like to do that. And what breaks the cycle of daily shorting? They'll probably continue to short daily. I'll just be honest with you. Bro, definitely not taking her anywhere. What the heck is wrong with you, Jay? You gotta take Nikki out for some ice cream. What is... Oh, my... Dude. Listen. I can't give you financial advice, but I can give you some advice right now. If Nikki is stressed out, Nikki wants some ice cream. Put some sprinkles on that ice cream, maybe a little whipped cream, and you're gonna have a happy Nikki, Okay? Golly, boom! Jay says I'm definitely not taking. Oh my gosh, Jay! Oh my gosh! Ice cream, dude! Ice. Oh my goodness. Anybody in here agree? Cookie, darling. Joe might be a bot. I don't know. Aubrey, who we got? Ebony. Come on now. We gotta hook Jay up. Jay's. Oh man, Jay. Now you're stressing me. Now, like now I'm worried, Jay. Now I'm with Nikki. Now you got two people that are worried about you. Come on. Sprinkle. I'm saying, I'm say, I'm just, what is, what, somebody said something here. Don't be greedy. Just be happy and go to Ape Fest. Where do they find these pictures? Jill. What? Jill, I couldn't agree more. That's enough. It's the same picture. Jill, I couldn't agree more. That's enough for me to pay off my student loans and only work one job instead of two. <laughs> this is great, man. Oh, wow, this is really good. Jill and Jasmine are in some tough times right now. See what 8Fest? See what 8Fest? I like it. Let's see where this goes. What else is going to happen? I thought, I thought Woody was going to say Jasmine's hot. He said Jasmine's a bot. I'm like, where's... Dude, where's, where's Slip of Jones at? We need Slip of Jones and Juan jumping on Jasmine and Jill here. We gotta see how the bots handle that. <laughs> we need to see how the, bonds, uh, the bots handle Slip of Jones and Juan. Slip up. If you're listening, man, get on it. Yeah, Woody, stop calling the bots hot, dude. I can. The picture's small, yeah, but <laughs> don't do it. What's the question? Darling, it's very simple. Jay said, I need to give shout-out to Nikki because Nikki's stressed about AMC, and he wants her to relax a little bit. 
I said, Jay, dude, you, you got your work cut out for you. You need to take that girl out for some ice cream right now, maybe some sprinkles, a little whipped cream. Show her a good Friday evening. She's going to enjoy the ice cream, relax a little bit. It's the weekend. You don't have to worry about AMC opening up till Monday now. And, and he's like, dude, I definitely ain't taking her out for no ice cream. Come on, Jay. I need to see a picture of that ice cream tonight, man. Do your, do your work now. Come on. So ice cream, darling. Would you like some ice cream tonight? Is basically what I'm asking you. Would you Would you like me to take you out for some ice cream tonight? Destroy the Darkness says all these bots and my boy Ken Shrimp is not here. It's crazy. Destroy the Darkness. Claude says don't. Don't take her out for ice cream. Oh my gosh, I don't know. See y'all at Neptune where it rains diamonds. I'm cool. I guess we're not going to Pluto anymore. It's Neptune now. I'm here and ready. What you got? Oil tipped is locked and loaded, baby. He is ready to block, block, block. AMC, I am so tired. Need the days off. Do it, man. If you're tired, good thing you got Saturday and Sunday. You are off for the weekend. Enjoy it. Uh, Jay, we're, we're waiting, man. We need to see this. Jenny's or Graders? I don't know where Jay's going. I don't know if Jay. I don't know if Jay's going to Jenny's or Graders or, or somewhere else. Jay, where are you getting this? Where are you getting Nikki? Nikki, jump in the chat right now. If you're listening still, if you still got the volume up, the the channel is Claybro on YouTube. Jump in the chat right now, smash that subscribe button, and let us know where Jay has to take you for ice cream tonight. It's official. You got the shout out, and now we all need to. We're involved now. It's it's beyond the point of you getting a shout out. We are you are getting ice cream tonight. So Nikki, hop in the chat and let us know. 50 Cent and Jay-Z should perform an Ape Fest. Ah, DJ, they should. Let's get them on. Get Nikki a fish sandwich. Dude, fish sandwich. Come on, Chuck. Can I get Nikki some ice cream? Clay Bro, Aubrey, what's up? I might have missed it. Real Ape would expect a the Clay Bro challenge. It's like five bucks for a couple sink scoops. I can't eat. Are we talking about a lot of ice cream? Or what are we talking about here? I can't eat a lot of ice cream. I can't do it. Sell is a four-letter word, Rick Lee, and buy is a three-letter word. Good thing I can't spell four-letter words. I can only spell three-letter words. Buy. Y'all bots are quiet now that I scare you. I think you did, Oil Tip. They, they know about you. Like, they see you in the chat, and they're like, all right, we got to calm down before we get blocked. We can't get blocked off the channel, or we can't continue to type. I said I've been hanging around rich people lately. I noticed they don't drink. Claude, very interesting. Water is in the bottle, my friend. Hope everyone who created FUD bots go to jail after we the Christian case. Going to savor it. I don't know if you could go to jail for creating a FUD bot, but that would be very interesting if they did. Anyone donate to the West Christian GoFundMe? I did not. Look, dude, I don't know if we really need to go fund me, right? If if West Christian wanted to take on AMC or the, I mean, if if West Christian wanted to take on the hedge funds about AMC, he would do so. Where's the chipmunk? Is he? Good question. Probably in my backyard. <laughs> Only when it's racist or harassment. Uh, about the bot. Oh, I don't block. Ah, I got you, got you, got you. Yeah, oh yeah, because you you did block one though, and I forgot about why he got blocked. I didn't see it, but Charlie's vid's newest video comment and TMI's live stream. Philip, if you're asking me to comment, uh, I have I've been traveling all day today. I haven't been able to watch anybody else's live streams or videos. I barely got to see what was going on with the price action on AMC today. Didn't even get a chance to look at my portfolio. So I, uh, yeah, if you're asking me to comment on one of their live streams, I, I can't do that right now or their latest video. I haven't seen anything today. <sighs> oh, Lisa, I just can't do mint ice cream. Darling, I can do mint ice cream, but if, listen, any other flavor, you name it, you've got it. We're going out for ice cream tonight. So stop being stressed. I know it's late there. I know it's late, but we can, we can bring it back. Yeah, I have comebacks for di Oil Tip does have comebacks for days. I've seen it. When they start going off. Yes, yeah, no, I'm saying the bots are spread. Oh, gotcha, Philip. Gotcha. They're spreading it over on on their comments. Okay. Charlie's videos, comments, and uh, TMIs. All right, now I understand. I thought you might have been asking me to comment on their live stream. Team, I got Buddha from YouTube. He's back now. Why, why is everybody getting booted? Like, what do you mean you get booted from YouTube? Why is everybody getting in trouble with YouTube? YouTube just must not care about me at all. They don't share my videos with anybody. They, they don't send me any 
emails or notifications or anything like that. They don't care. Told my friend AMC is worth more than its fundamental price because short hedges have to buy the shares back from us whatever price we set. Now they're buying and now yeah now they're buying and holding. So let me okay. I don't know if it's worth more. The, the, the price can definitely go above its fundamental value, absolutely. Everyone just said price alerts go on vacation. All the DD going to numb you with unnecessary worries. We will squeeze the basic math. Almost all the float is gone and 15% shorted. No shares left. Muzwani, come meet me down in North Carolina, man. We can go out for some ice cream. And then we can watch the short squeeze happen when it happens. That's Jake from State Farm. It might be Jake from State Farm, but I miss Harris. I missed who we were talking about from Jake from State Farm. You did the same with TMI as they did with Matt Kors. Very. Did he play the same interview, or why would they have done that? A lot of people getting booted, but coming back, of course. Yeah, I don't know why they keep, people keep getting booted. Purchased 60 more today. Nice, B.A. Do you use some hair wax on your hair? Should be, bra should be branded bro wax. Daniel. I know. Somebody said that I need to use Hold by Claybro. They sent over a, a really beautiful product, like uh, product development of it. I liked it. But, yeah, I do use, if you want to actually know what I use, it's in the Amazon link in the description below. But also, dude, if you just never wash your hair, you don't even have to use product. Like, look. You just don't wash your hair, and it does whatever you want it to do. Like, if you want it to go up, if you want it to go to the side, just don't wash your hair, and it's all good. Claybro is the goat. I'm the chip. The coolest, hippest, insanest person. That's what you get for trying to make up an acronym on the fly. <laughs> Did that work? Did anybody remember what I said? Of course, has thick skin. Oh, thin skin. Does he really, Chuck? I don't sit there long enough to watch him get mad. He's a better thought. I don't know, Miss Harris. I don't know. Uh, I've become less focused on my portfolio balance and more focused on obtaining more shares. The more shares I have, the happier I am. Do it live, man. If you're focused on happiness, if you know what makes you happy, and you can, you can make yourself... I like it, dude. I say go for it. Chuck Stick, Matt, and Trey are still pretty new to YouTube and fame. They have had to adapt very quickly. Yes, very quickly. And and they're young, too. You guys might not. I don't know how old you are, but 23 and 26 or whatever they are, that's kind of, that's young, guys. He does have thin skin. Interesting, Perryman. Interesting. Boom, stronger together. We are stronger together. Clay, bro, we appreciate your honesty and being a light post in all of this FUD. We are only stronger together. Muzwani, we are definitely stronger together. Unless everybody's freaking out, right? Then, yeah, it's worse. If everybody's freaking out, I'd rather be the lone guy over there like, mm, what's your problem? But, no, dude, if we're all good, we're all good. Ah, <sighs> it's not as hard a truck driver or a dude. Miss Harris, yes, I know that you're clearly the name. You are Grandma Harris, Granny Harris, maybe, Grammy Harris. And I, did I say you were a truck driver, dude? <laughs> you're a bro. Did you click the subscribe button like you say? Because if you did, you're a bro. Clay, you're not that old. Ebony. I know, but there's a difference in 22 and 32. Come on now. Hey, driver, it's barbecue time. Denise! Yeah, 6 o'clock, we are leaving. So we're, we're signing off in three minutes, guys. 6 o'clock, we're going to be out of here. Uh, but there's always Twitch. I think I have I think I have the Twitch, but I don't remember the password. It's probably Claybro883. <laughs> I don't know. Clay, has Benjamin Button disease? This channel is a retirement project for him. Brett. I'm, I'm very surprised that you remember that I do have Benjamin Button disease. You guys think that I'm 32, but I'm actually 72. I'm just aging in reverse right now. So, yes. Uh, that is what we're looking at. Holding from 520. David S., very nice. Oil tip. There is plenty of ways to get people. Yes, there are definitely plenty of ways to get people. I'm telling you that right now. Um, what was supposed to happen? When we switch from... Oh, so I don't know about that. DSA, possible that the hedge funds covered little by little in time. Yes, Junior M. That is possible, man. 
It's definitely possible. But they, if they're going to do that, they have to be willing to admit that AMC is no longer shortable. Here's the deal, man. They base their trades on fundamentals. And AMC is extremely overvalued fundamentally. We know it. It's a fact. And they're basing that on that. So they're shorting their shares now and watching them run back down to fundamentals over time. That's their plan. That's why we're ripping them. Have a weekend, apes. We're built different. Do it live. We're built different, baby. Hey, I, I do plan on doing a live stream tomorrow. I don't know what time. But it'll probably only be like an hour-long hangout or something just on Saturday, just on Sunday. Have some fun. You know, talk about what's going on. If anybody's, if any due diligence comes up that needs talked about, we can talk about that. Anything like that, guys. But we, we should plan on doing it sometime tomorrow, so just watch out for your notification. Don't know which time we would doing it, though. Uh, oh, oh, Miss Harris, I know this is probably a different Miss Harris, it seems like, because these are not the... The jokes. Chuck said, Ape Father is out of his mind. Ape Father is still a good guy. You sound like Zach Morris from Say by the Bell when, he's, when they sabotage him by putting lemon extract in his juice right before the school song competition. <laughs> Marquis, what, man? I don't remember that episode, but it sounds like a good one. Clip a great weekend and a nice vacation. Thank you very much, Joseph. I appreciate that. Y'all have a great weekend. Get that. Gotta get that Schmitz. Yes. And Jay, if you're still in here, I expect a tweet, man. I want to know what kind of ice cream you're getting Nikki tonight. Nikki, we need to see the picture on the Twitter. Okay, have a great weekend. Everybody in a great vacation, Clay. Thanks for taking us along for some of it. Brad, Texas, man, I appreciate that. I, listen, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the same without you guys. I'll tell you that right now. Also, Lou's officially should have confirmed that one of his videos. Interesting finding. I don't know about that. Gang, 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 gang. Slipper Jones in the house. Closing time. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, it is 6 o'clock, guys. Get your name in the chat right now if you want a shout-out. We'll get you that shout-out. We're going to go have dinner right now, so you're not going to come along for dinner. I do need to eat. I'm a starving little boy right here, and I just need to fill my stomach with some good food. So we're going to go do that. And uh, let's see what else we got. Weeble, 5 bucks all July long. You don't even have to deposit $100. If you wait until after July, you got to got to deposit at least $100 to get your free stocks. July, 5 bucks, still get your free stocks. All the other links in the description below. Make sure to check those out. Claybro883 everywhere. Just go just go follow me everywhere. Claybro883. Just go follow me everywhere. You're going to be doing something good. And you're not going to get a lot of content there, but follow me. Maybe content in the future. And you're going to be one of the first to follow. That's always good. So let's do these shout-outs and have a good evening. Brett, man, shout-out to you. Have a good evening. Woody, have a good evening. Finding Fair Trades, have a good evening. Slip of Jones, man. Back at it again. Thank you very much for being in here. Have a good evening. Hands Down Clothing Co., have a good evening. Chuck Steak, man. Glad to have you in here. Have a good evening. And Perry Mott, have a good evening. Enjoy your weekend as well. Oil Tip, man. I'll see you later. Have a good evening. Lisa, thank you very much. I know the chipmunk is not here, but thank you very much for being in here. Ebony. Bye, hon. Have a great evening as well. Enjoy Top Golf. Let us know how that goes. We do want to know about that. Anthony, Claybro Gang, we are out, Anthony. Have a wonderful Friday night. Hopefully you enjoy it. Rick Lee, peace to you, man. Nufo, getting that chipmunk out there. Nufo, have a good evening, man. Slip of Jones, all the time. Slip of Steven, later, bro. Have a good evening. Lock Guys Chattanooga, Clay Bro, be good. You too. Samantha J, thank you for being in here. Have a wonderful evening, and look, I did not see Darling's name, but Darling, I might have to buy the ice cream at another time. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to you this evening, but I hope that you have a wonderful night, Darling, and uh, ice cream coming soon, along with your shirt, all right? Have a good night. All right, guys, you know what time it is. If you want to say it with me, say it with me. Until the next time, I hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.